Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is TG Gaming. I'm so happy you guys can be with me today. Good vibes, positive thinking all around. Guys, getting right into today's video. If you found this information helpful in any way, shape, or form, please smash that like button and subscribe and go check out some of my more awesome videos. I do have uh, Rainbow Six more videos and stuff like that coming away, and I have a lot more awesome gameplay of everything gaming i'm so excited for you guys to see today's video which is my first gun review video of a man of war which is a boss a god of a gun i know a lot of people use it. a lot of people like it but for those that don't have it i understand a lot of people got it for christmas a lot of people don't really use it that much i know when i first started playing i didn't really use it but i'm telling you guys just give it a try give it a whirl it is a god of a gun and i'm gonna tell you guys what attachments are good why I like it, and the way you should be playing the gun. But guys, before I get into that, I've had so many people come to me and ask me what type of headphones do I use, because I tell people that these headphones were only $80, and they really want to know exactly the kind that they are. So guys, these are Turtle Beaches XO1s that I'll show you right here. They're really, really awesome, really, really nice. I really, really like them. Um, they do come with a little jack for you Xbox users out there. It's really, really nice. I really actually like this piece. This piece is extremely hard to take out. I remember I had to take it out once because I like to clean the inside of the controller and the wires and stuff, all this stuff, and I like to clean that occasionally. And I remember I was trying to take this off, and I literally had to pull it hard. Like, it's insane of how hard this thing just stays in there, which is really good for gaming in general. Like, I, it's not going to fall out because I know I've had ones before where they've gotten loose. Really bad. So, guys, this little piece is really awesome that includes into the headphones. They do have a removable mic. So, for $80, a removable mic and a pretty good thing. I definitely recommend this. I think it is great. I will leave links to the Microsoft website where you can purchase this. And I will also leave links to the um, Walmart website where I actually got it from. If you guys are interested in getting it and you don't want to go to the store to get it or your store doesn't have it, you know, you can get it shipped to any Walmart, your closest Walmart, and uh, get it shipped to the store for free. Or you can get it shipped to you, but I do know it charges you a little bit extra. But guys, without further ado, let's get into the gameplay and I'll show you guys why I think the Man of War is the god of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, everyone. So as you can see, I do have the Man of War Gold. This is the particular loadout I use for most of my classes, something I use for the Man of War, something that's worked out very well for me and something I will not play the Man of War without. So guys, you can notice that I don't have an optic on there. I do sometimes use it. It uh, goes back and forth between me. Um, I don't know why. Um, if I do end up using an optic, I prefer either the red dot or the ELO. That's kind of the things that I like to use with it. The yellow allows you to get a very better range of view and your um, perception, your depth perception is a little bit wider than it should be. It doesn't take up so much when you're looking down range. Next thing I use, guys, is Quick Draw. Quick Draw is something I use for every single one of my guns. I do not play without this. I will not play without this. This is one of the main attachments that are on every single one of my classes. I believe it is the one of the first attachments you do unlock for the gun. And then the next thing is grip, which is the second attachment. Um, the grip, especially helpful when playing with the Man of War, is ex has this huge amount of recoil. So the grip definitely goes well with the gun. The next thing, guys, is going to be stock. The stock is another attachment I do not play without. The gun is just amazing with stock. I, I have a hard time playing without stock. Um, it is something I just don't play without. I have it on all my classes. I use it all the time. Uh, it allows you to strafe back left and right a lot faster while aiming down sights. I feel like it is extremely helpful. Next thing, guys, is the fast mags. Now, that goes back and forth between some people. Fast mags is good. Um, um, you know, it, it's it's... It's definitely helpful. Um, I don't really attach a sticks attachment because I do like to use fast hands. Fast hands allows me to aim down sights after sprinting a lot quicker. And you mix this with the quick draw. It allows you to be extremely deadly because the the Man of War is really has a slow firing rate. But the, 
the fast mags allows me to be a little more quicker. So if I pop a guy and I know a guy's around the corner, I only have one shot left. I manage to reload a lot quicker um, because it does have a extremely low or excuse me, extremely um, long reload. So I do really like this loadout the way I pick it. I use the bazooka to knock down UAVs and that just really helpful with just the general class. So you can see right here I got some really awesome gameplay for you guys. I do have um, um, some issues with Treyarch at this moment because the it doesn't show it actually on that kill which is kind of funny. Um, I lagged really hard and I don't understand why it does not show up on this game. You'll see kind of a lot of the times I'll look left and I'll look right and it just kind of um, the, the lag kind of screws up with my aiming. Um, you can see right there, I was like, wait, what? And I didn't even see the guy pass by. And then when I went back and watched the gameplay footage, I didn't even see that guy, which was kind of funny. I, I just, I have a lot of beef with Treyarch right now. Um, but it is the weekend. As of today, it is Saturday. So there is a lot of stress on the, the servers, um, which I hopefully Treyarch will take care of. Now, real quick, guys, you can see here, I'm using the Man of War to its strengths, which are long range. This gun is a god at long range. There's no gun except for maybe the Shiva and a sniper rifle that can compare with this gun. You guys, seriously, you, you on long range, like you just tap fire this gun, you will get beat so many times by the Man of War. It is insane. This gun is just amazing. I love it. I feel really comfortable at longer ranges with it. I even like with the quick draw and the fast hands attached, I feel extremely comfortable at close range as well. So that's kind of saying something, especially a gun that just, I feel like this gun is versatile in just about everything, especially in hardcore. Even in core guys, this gun is still amazing. Um, I really, really am enjoying this gun. I highly recommend it to anybody that is looking for a new gun that's really good you'll see a lot of other players using it but that doesn't also mean that it's going to be right for you a lot of players like smgs where they're running around and you know they're right in your face you can still play that way with this gun i play this that way with this gun um but just remember those longer ranges call of duty especially is famous for having those those longer um like middle ranges or you know at the side they'll have extremely long long ranges Especially in the middle, which they'll block off those uh, those um, platforms on both sides of the map. Uh, but it's extremely helpful to know that I can pop somebody at a further, further range. And you can see that I'm saying long range a lot. That means something, guys. That means that this gun is a god at long range. Long range, long range. And you can see right here I'm about to pop two guys close range. I down them so quick. Not because this is hardcore, although it is a god in hardcore. Like, this gun beats all in hardcore but it's still pretty effective in core i think it takes like maybe three or four rounds to to drop somebody in core if you manage to do it the right way um so guys this is an extremely good gun i highly recommend it to anybody um it is really awesome i'm really really enjoying it i will be doing another review of a gun soon i might do the razorback because i do actually have that gun gold um i do also i think i'm about like i think i'm one bloodthirsty away from getting the ak gold so i will be doing a review on that gun because i'm really really liking that one as well guys go ahead and give the man of war a try it is amazing i love you all enjoy the rest of the gameplay guys peace
HCX It's down to this. Pick it up. Stand by 